Our team coverage continues with a look at President Biden's visit to Surfside. The president met with victims, first responders, and local leaders while pledging the federal government's full support. CBS 4's Ted Scott is live in Surfside with that part of the story. Ted, good morning. Good morning, Maribel and Keith. Well, President Joe Biden spent much of Thursday acting as consoler in chief. He was in South Florida most of the day. The Surfside Wall of Hope and Memorial is filled with flyers, candles, and messages. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden laid flowers. They took a moment to pray for the almost 150 people who are still unaccounted for and for those who were killed. The whole nation is mourning with these families. They see it every day on television. They're going through hell. And those who survived the collapse, as well as those who are missing loved ones. Right on time, Air Force One touched down in Miami Thursday morning. The president headed straight to a surfside briefing with local, state, and congressional leaders. He seemed to surprise Miami Dade Mayor Danielle Levine Cava when he said the federal government would pick up the tab for the next month. 100% of the search and rescue cost for the first 30 days. Not done often, but necessary here, in my view. And FEMA is going to provide temporary housing and other urgent needs for the survivors. State Department is, expe is expediting visas for family members from other countries, and there are from Latin America, South America, Europe, Israel. This is an unprecedented, des devastating disaster unlike anyone has ever seen. It shocked the world, and the fact that we've all come together is what gives us hope. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and uh, you uh, recognize the, the severity of this tragedy from, from day one, and, and, and you've been very supportive. The cooperation has been, uh, has been great. The local, uh, both the municipal and the county, um, have, have been fantastic. And you guys have not only been supportive at the federal level, but we've had no bureaucracy. For more than three hours, the president met with family members. We're told that more than 200 people were inside a room with him. President Biden addressed families and also people privately. The brother of Nikki Langsfeld, who's missing, along with her fiance, Luis Sadovnik, shared these photos of the president consoling them. President Biden also thanked our first responders who have been working the disaster around the clock. What you're doing here is incredible. Having to deal with the uncertainty and worrying about, uh, you know, the families. And, you know, I, anyway, thank you. Now, we did speak with some of the families after the visit. Some of those families said they thought that the president's visit was a bit of a distraction, while others said they felt comforted. Live in Surfside, Ted Scout, CBS 4 this morning.